Hello, this is Hope Roski with Business Arts Events. Well, today I am going to introduce you to a gentleman by the name of Gavin Gear. Bless you, Gavin. <laughs> and uh, Gavin is, is amazing because he is a part of Logics Biosciences. And uh, Gavin, to, to even begin to, for the viewers to understand, give us a little bit about your background and how you developed this company, which is absolutely fascinating. Sure. Um, I, we started in 2009 when I had a problem with um, heartburn and I couldn't tolerate the drugs. And so I did a little research and I discovered that um, heartburn is really a function of uh, a bacteria problem. And when they were testing me, they were testing me for E. coli and that's one of a gazillion bacteria that you've got in your body. Sure. And it was negative. And so I made a, I made a um, my own medicine. I figured out how to do it. And I ended up going to New Zealand, where I'm from. And uh, a friend of mine who's a pharmacologist introduced me to a man that made medical grade manuka honey. So that's not the honey that you, the manuka honey that you see in the grocery store. This is a medical grade, and it's in wound care dressings, and my brother makes those. And um, so that man became my brother because we have such uh, a common interest in helping people. His mission was to reduce pain and suffering, and I thought, uh-oh, I'm married to you. <laughs> <laughs> like that idea. And so that's what we're in. We're in the business of reducing pain and suffering with Manuka Honey. So, so what really, is oh, yes? Go ahead. So I was going to say, what is exactly in manuka honey that makes it so unique and so powerful and a remedy healer? Um, the 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 literature that you read on Google will talk about methyl glyoxal, and methyl glyoxal is in manuka honey, and that's what they say makes it so powerful. Um, I would uh, gently disagree. Um, you can take the methyl glyoxal out of the honey and it still is uh, natural. It still does everything that the honey did before uh, uh, you took the methyl glyoxal out. It's actually the peptides. And in a lot of modern medicine, even cancer drugs, we see peptides being used. And so we've got our nasal sprays on a path for drug approval based on the peptides, not on the methyl glyoxal. Wow. That's, to me, that's absolutely fascinating. I mean, for me, you're, you're taking me back to some of my classes that I, my science classes, and I, I just love this. One of the things, and I'm a big pet person, and I love dogs, um, and one of my former dogs suffered terribly with hot spots, and it just seemed like there was nothing that we could do to help decrease the discomfort and them occurring but amazingly you have a, a source or, and a product for hot spots for pets can you tell us about that please yeah we call ourselves the hot spot terminator i love it <laughs> love I, it i didn't know this but i've got a husky and he's six years old and he's 74 pounds so he's more, more wolf than husky and he, he'll he get an itch or something like that, and he'll lick it until it bleeds. Yes. And all I do is dip my finger in a jar of our honey, our medical-grade honey, and I rub it on the hot spot. And, of course, he's right in there with his nose <laughs> and starts to lick the honey off. But what we discovered the first time we did this was, we well, we, the first time we did it, we tried everything we could to stop him licking the honey off. And it was really hard because a 74-pound husky is one bundle of muscle. And so, but today we just put the honey on with our fingers and let him lick it off. And what he's, what we learned is he's licking the honey into the wound. And some of it's going in his mouth, but enough of it is being licked into the hot spot that it quiets the hot spot. And you only do it once. Come back tomorrow morning. And he's a happy dog, totally ignoring that hot spot. That's Won't go back there again. One 
I put two fingers in the honey pot, rub it on the hot spot, and I'm done. I don't care if he licks it off. And that's incredible because not only, I mean, you think about you don't even have to rub it in. They're actually doing it themselves by licking yeah, it work. in yeah. and he, getting you it know, in. We've had, I've had nine dogs and, over my lifetime. And normally when you get a hot spot, you've got to put one of those big things around yes, there. Yes, yes. So the they cones, can't, like, the big cones. <laughs> the big cone, yeah. It's and, terrible and then for the you dogs. look at the ball and you go, holy moly, that uh Cone cost me X, Y, Z dollars, heavens above. Well, now you buy a $60 jar of honey and you go, and it's done. And then you put the honey away until next time, just like you do with Tylenol, you know? Right. So what is the expiration on something like that? I mean, how long does it last until you would have to, per se, get another? Yeah, well, they took uh, honey out of the Egyptian tombs, 3,000 years old, and it was fine. Um, we follow the FDA regulations for dietary supplements because this is considered a dietary supplement, and we put four years on it. But it doesn't expire. Um, but most people will... I'll give you an example. I have a lady right now treating a, a wound on a horse, and and so she decided she would try this honey and she started eating it and now she's addicted to the honey she uh -huh. loves what it does for her regularity i'm allowed to use that word <laughs> yes you are <laughs> okay uh, well yeah. I, and i think you know for for the animals and for whoever needs it for the for their wounds it's it's definitely a great source i'm going to transition a little bit here because you know we're going to go from hot spots to nasal care and you know when we talk a lot of people suffer with allergies and chronic sinus infections and we're in the springtime now where people are really feeling that effect of the sinus issues and keeping the nose free and clear is essential. You have a product and that I would love for you to share with the viewers that really will help them through times like this. Sure. I was in New Zealand and I had a meeting with uh, Professor Peter Molan and he's the man that discovered the Manuka honey being used in New Zealand by the indigenous people, and they're called Maoris. And he found them putting this honey on wounds, and he was fascinated because these wounds were infected. Mm. And so um, I met with him uh, at, at his university, and he said to me, Gavin, make a nasal spray. Peter, why don't you make a nasal spray? <laughs> And I've tried to make a nasal spray, but it ferments. And so that was my first experience of honey fermenting. And so that's why you can't make a nasal spray at home with honey, because it'll ferment and you'll be in trouble. And it took us four years to figure out how to prevent the honey from fermenting when we put water in it without using a preservative, because you don't want to put a chemical preservative up the nose. The tissues are so delicate yes and um and I, we finally figured out how to do it and um so now it's safe to put in the nose but it's hydroscopic and so it makes a lot of water and i have to laugh at some of the nasal sprays because they talk about no drip well if you use my nasal spray you better have some tissues ready <laughs> okay it's gonna wash mm -hmm. what doing is we're washing out whatever's in there we're giving it a thorough cleaning that saline which does a pretty good job can't do saline can't do what we do and people hold up our nasal spray and because i interview them on zoom you know and they'll say this is the best nasal spray in the world or i've used this nasal spray and i can't believe how well it works i've had nasal problems for 20 years and now i can go to work every day this kind of stuff, you know. I had one lady in a text say to me, Gavin, you gave me my life back. That's incredible. And, you know, it's many people are looking for those alternatives. Uh, they go to a doctor and maybe they can't get that resolve that they need, but you have uh, 12 different products and people can go on your website. Can you tell the viewers where they can log on to to view some of the products that you do offer? 
It's called manukagad.com, and I'll hold up a jar of honey, and you might be able to see the logo. Can you? Oh no, that's too small. And that's M A N U K A Manuka Guard. Dot com and yeah. the products you know there are various products that you have not just these but others too that people can take a look yeah we um i think the second product we made before we did the nasal spray was a cough syrup and we made it in new zealand because they had a strep throat uh, cough problem down there and so we used some bot botanicals in the syrup with the honey and darn me if we didn't stop kids with strep throat from coughing. And um, it works wonderful. It just stops cough. Um, cough syrups are notoriously famous for not stopping cough. There's nothing in them that can actually work to resolve a cough. And so even if you've got an irritated throat from being out in a dusty field or something, um, ours works. Well, I, I, Gavin, I thank you so much for, for being on the show today and really educating our viewers about some of the products that you offer and what they can do to help benefit and improve your health. Um, again, you go to www.manukaguard.com to continue to look at your products. And is there anything that you would like to, as we wrap up, share with the viewers Sure. There's a, on the website, there's an 800 number, and there's also a place where you can email us. And I'm happy to talk to anybody anytime. Um, quite often, it's four or five people a day that I get that have a question. And mostly it's about how much do I take, or what does UMF mean, or a question about the product. Um, and so we're happy to help with all of that. I think that's wonderful because many times people reach out and they don't get that human side to it. And it's great that you will be able to to feel that for them. I think that's absolutely wonderful. Gavin Gear, I thank you so much for joining us today. Logics Biosciences, you have some amazing products out, and I think the viewers should really try to investigate and take a look, especially if they're looking for that alternative way to cure some problems. Okay, great. Thanks a lot for having me. Thank you so much. This is Hope Roski, and we will see you in just a bit.